Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay, awesome. Thanks. Um, so I'm Leslie Stein and thanks for coming in today and um, working with me on some comics and uh, seeing me do a reading. I'm doing a um, part of a promotion I'm doing for a new book that John and Quarterly just put out called I Know You Writer and it came out a week ago and I will say that it's um, for adults only but if you're tuning in with kids um, I'm going to do a reading at the end and I picked excerpts that are um, totally family friendly so um, I'll go over this again at the end but I wanted to say there's going to be a link up uh, our lovely Kristen, who's going to be helping us with all the behind the scenes stuff here. We'll put a link up. If you want to purchase the book, today's a really great day to do it because if you purchase through this link, then 10% um, of the proceeds will go to the believer and more workshops like this can happen and all the content you see online. So that's a really great way to do it and support like indie booksellers. Um, and also during the, um, uh the workshop part you <laughs> if you like what you do you don't have to do this but if you like what you do and i hope you do um you go and i'm on instagram i'm leslie am stein and the believer mag i'm sure you know them and just um you know post pictures and tag us in it and we can keep the conversation going um i live by myself i don't have any plans tonight so i'm happy to answer any questions you guys have later after the workshop's done. So, let's see here. Um, okay. So I thought a fun thing to do, my work is autobiographical, is kind of teach you guys or show you some tricks to draw a character of yourself. Um, it doesn't have to be yourself. It could be um, a make-believe person or someone in your family or anything like that. Um, but this idea came from a drawing book I got when I was like 10 or 11 that had tracing paper at the end. And it had um, all the pages were different shapes of faces and eyes and you can trace and mix and match. And when I'm designing characters, I often just still think of these simple shapes and how I can have fun with them to make them a, uh, a complete character. And just changing the eyes from big eyes to little eyes or a little like small smile to a huge smile with a uh, big teeth can change a whole character's face and uh, you can have a lot of fun with that. So um, I wanted to start with everyone I hope brought some pen and paper. All you need is pencil or pen. And I'm just gonna hold up, I'll give you this example, um, these templates to the screen and hopefully I give you enough time because, you know, you can hear me, but I can't hear you until the end uh, to draw from them. But they're all really simple shapes. So um, I think we're going to start with the eyes, um, go to the nose, and the mouth, and then we have uh, face and hair. And if you don't see anything that you like, feel free to like just do your own thing. If you see a nose you like or you don't, you know, um, get jazzy with it. That's what I do. Okay. So. Um, I think my um, my sister-in-law Katie's uh, tuning in. I just want to say hi to her. And it was just seven o'clock here, and she is a healthcare worker in New York. And so, just to show you what you might come up with at the end, I did something really quick, um, a version of her, just to give her a shout out. Um, so I want to show that. So it's backwards for me, but hopefully um, you see it the right way. Here's a you know, eyes you can choose from nose. And we're, I think we could start, I wanted to start with the eyes and everything so you can have the shape kind of go around. Um, not that you'll be filling in and having to uh, worry about how much space you left here, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, great. So let's start with the eyes. Here we are. So those are ones you can see, I just use those. Those are like happy hour eyes, happy, happy hour, everybody. Um, 
As you can see, I'm a big fan of the side eyes there. We'll shift the eyes. Um, so yeah, go ahead with that. Hopefully I give you enough time. kind of scrolling through and, and seeing some of you guys here. I've just been talking, so I can see you guys are diligently working. Yeah, oh, great, perfect. Thank you. Oh, it's so nice to see everyone in here. <clears throat> so hopefully, you know, I, what I might do also after this event um, is just post all these to my Instagram and different um, pages so that if you wanted to go back and reference any, if you felt like making a character one day, you can just go ahead and do that. Okay, we'll move on. Now, a lot of us have classes, right? So, oh, okay, great. So I like to do a simple glasses shape like this, or you could do like cat eyes or sunglasses. Um, or if you felt like doing the shape, you can see like the shape that I had in the corner of the last one, plus um, that shape equals that. So I'm probably some of you guys will be doing multiples of these because they're really small um, gestural things. It's almost like making like one of those emoji things on your phone, but like what you lose in that is the character of your hand and you don't have, uh, you can't make a story out of it, you know? So that's for our, I usually wear glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now. Okay. So we're going to go on to noses. I did two sheets of noses. So take a look at this one. If you don't like any of them, we'll go to the next one. That's obviously a dog. <laughs> they get weird with it. Some of these I stole from other cartoons. Like this to me is like kind of a peep bag from hate kind of, if it's an old alternative comic. And some of these simple ones can work really well. I mean, you just, you have a character that you like and you just have to draw that every time. I mean, how simple is that or that? Okay, we're gonna do the other one too. This is the more noses for you guys. I did this one first actually, but then I was like, these ones are more complicated actually. We should start with the simple ones. So if you have a nose ring, you know, add your nose ring. If you have a lot of blackheads, you can add those. If you feel like you're a Martian, you know, you can make that. Over there. So we're going to go on to the mouth. That goes there. So it goes under the nose. So here's some fun ones I thought 
you know, obviously we, we have this uh, smiley face in the corner. That's very easy. Um, we have a kissy mouth in the middle of there. Laughing if you want to do a bunch of teeth. I think that's the one I used for my Kate drawing and I showed you earlier. This guy looks like he might be a guy or girl or they might be uh, <laughs> in some kind of trouble. <laughs> um, sometimes it can be really fun to mix like a huge eyes and a scared expression with a very, uh, with a mouth like this. Um, so yeah, I'll just hold this up for you guys and stop talking for a second. Someone's asking about body shape. No, we're not even gonna get to body shape today. I can post some stuff on, on the gram about that, but like, I wanna see everyone's drawings more than I wanna get into uh, some technical stuff like that. So I think we're just gonna focus on the portrait today. Looks like everyone's staring at me now. So maybe I can go on to the next one. It's hard to tell. Okay, okay, cool. So face shape is kind of hard. Um, you know, I just did some really, it really depends on what you did this far that you could fit the shape around. Um, like I said, I'll use mine as example again, like I did the three and then I decided because everything's kind of going in this direction, like her nose is this way, like so her face is going how my face is going. So I picked a line that kind of from the side. I mean, you can do just a circle, it's super easy too. Um, so I just did some few like face shape sketches for you. I'll just hold those up. So this guy was my favorite to draw. Can you hear that Superman? chin thing, <laughs> which not many people have, but it's fun to draw, so. So for these, while you're um, working on that, these are all free form. I penciled them. And then I didn't have a lot of um, supplies because the art stores have been closed. So I was kind of just rooting around my supplies. And I was really just able to find the Sharpie. This thick Sharpie was really that. And then uh, I use these technical pen microns for the thinner lines, um, but these, you know, you kind of want your um, your chin and um, the shape to hold a lot of weight. So that's why I use the bigger, um, bigger marker for that. And I also, um, because I wanted things to be super clear to you guys, I don't usually use these on my comics, but um, for some of the eye shapes, for example, um, You know, I used um, some technical tools 
Um, see these? These are architectural tools. So you can get this in any art store or online really easy. And if you know, you can use a ruler down here for these lines and then just, you know, so you get like a really, and then fill in the circle there. So you can get a really sharp, cool lines and that too. Scroll through you guys and see if you're still working. Okay, it looks like most of you are done with this part. Okay, so here, this is like your own personal journey, but I'm just gonna give you some options here. Um, so what I did is because I had already done the shape of the face, right? I wonder if it will even show up. You can see behind here. Oh yeah, see? Okay. So I drew the shape of the face and then I I put these over here so that you could fit them. So these are all, these were all equal here. Um, and this is a mixture of the two different pens too. So these big lines. So this is like, I thought probably a lot of people with long hair probably have their hair in a bun all the time now that they're at home, a messy bun. So that, that had to be first. And then people's hair growing out and some people have natural hair and curly hair and so like these shapes kind of form natural waves. Um, another curly hair down here. Um, and then maybe like a bob down here. Um, so I'll leave this up for a sec, but quite frankly, like a lot, <laughs> a lot of stuff might <laughs> be even more fun to draw like this, like really crazy hair, <clears throat> Bart Simpson hair, you know, and just have fun with the gestures. And these guys, you know, like they don't even have noses, but they really get your the expression across, which is basically what you're trying to do in cartooning. You're just trying to make people feel what you're feeling. So these you probably don't need to look at, but I'll, in case you wanted to ape one of these, I'll show this again. I don't know where everyone's tuning in from, but I'm in New York and it was such a beautiful day today. It was in the eighties, but it was breezy and all the um, bars had their takeout windows open. So I got to go get a margarita and people were being very respectful. Yeah, totally. Um, on the street, wearing their masks and enjoying and uh, gave me a lot of happiness and hope to see that both, you know, the respectfulness and the, you know, fun like working together because that's what we're going to have to do, right? Okay, so as you're working on these, you're finishing in these, I'll just do a couple other, just one other thing I had an idea. Obviously, those are the basics, but we really want a lot of accessories, right? Like this is how we show our personality is fashion. So let your imagine, imagination run wild with that, you know, like tiara, baseball cap, I'm from Chicago. So I put the Cubs logo in there, um, goatee or mustache or beard or whatever, um, freckles, uh, earrings, you know, any shapes you like. So that's like a fun way to really like, that's my favorite part of drawing these is the little accessories that you get to come up with. And sometimes I make my characters dress like totally different than I would, or I wish I could dress, but I just can't pull it off. So I have fun with that too.
I can't wait till someone else is talking. <laughs> I don't think I've talked this much in days. So I think, um, you know, if you want to keep working on it, go for it. Um, probably some people are like, hopefully ready to share so that other people can finish up and share. Um, so I'm going to let um, our moderator, Kristen, um, if you raise your hand, she, she's seeing all of you. I only see a little bit of you at a time. Um, she'll put you on and unmute you so you can talk about the decisions you made and, you know, tell me this. <laughs> This was helpful at all. There you are. Okay, great. Um, this is mine. Um, and I decided that it was like somebody who was um like basically testing out an app, and she wasn't really sure about it. An app? I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Mhm. Mm okay, great. So, what app would she be testing? Can you hold it up while you talk? Um, not app. Um, a, like a like a not app. Um, <laughs> a outfit. Like an outfit. And oh. she's not sure about this outfit that she has on. Yeah. Well, it's great. She has glasses, a nose ring. Um, she has shifty side eyes that totally show that. Um, she has a tiara, which totally makes sense that she wouldn't know how she thinks about a tiara. Sometimes I feel like I could wear a tiara, but. You know, who knows? That's great. Thank you. Um, yeah. So anyone else, if they want to raise their hand. I see someone. Hi, it's Barbara. I'm from New York. Hi, Barbara. Hello, New York. Or nice uh, that you're enjoying today's weather, too. Oh, great. I'm glad you were, too. This was my drawing. It was sort of, you know, a take on myself. <laughs> I love it. It's great. And it does look like you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, because you, you seem like a very friendly, you, like some people would have like a big smile and it really works. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes. Which part of um, New York are you in? I'm from Long Island. Oh, um, great. Yeah, we're still the part that's under quarantine, you might say. We're not ready to open yet. <laughs> yeah. But you, um, but you're keeping it sane and doing these fun projects. Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're on. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Hi. What's your name? Grace. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm calling from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, great. Uh, can tell from my Michigan accent, and this is a take on on me. Oh, it's great. Um, so uh, the tiara, the glasses, and of course the mustache, and you and the earrings. Yes, the earrings. I mean, they're currently invisible, but you can see them in the comic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hi. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Yep. Hi, um, I'm David calling from LA. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. And this is me. Oh, great. <laughs> Just without the hat, but yeah, it's, it's supposed to be me. Yeah, maybe I should have put the hat, like the accessory <laughs> for the hat out the hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But now we know what your hair looks like and yeah. your hat. Yeah, so, exactly. Awesome. It's super long hair. <laughs> hey there. Sorry, there's a lag. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, look at that. So what are your <laughs> names and where are, you, where are you Zooming from? Um, just a little north of you in Boston. Okay, great. Uh, and I'm Elena. That's, that's my daughter. That's my daughter. <laughs> nice to meet you both. Thank you, thank you for joining. Thanks for, no, thanks for having us. 
Of course. Oh yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is made before I had a haircut. Okay, oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> and then I cut uh, it. So it and we're, we're in New York. We're in Brooklyn. We're in Brooklyn, yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Did you get to enjoy the weather out there today at all? Yeah. Yeah, so I got nice. some bit in the five minutes that I was outside. So great, yeah. great stuff. And congratulations on the haircut. Was it your first that she had given you? I've never done it before. And I uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos. It worked out. Yeah. yeah, definitely going back. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, uh, I need to learn how to do that pretty soon myself. <laughs> and can we see that? Did you do one as well? I didn't see I it. did, but it's really bad. And it's not quite me. <laughs> I don't know, but I like I the that. eyes. I love how you did the eyes like this too. <laughs> A lot of people are doing the tongue out. I'm, I'm surprised. I think it's the quarantine brain. TGIF, yeah. <laughs> yeah, TGIF, happy, happy hour. Hi. Hi. Wow, look at that, I'm on a screen. Hello everybody, I'm Diane. I'm wearing an Iron Cat, uh, which is Iron Man as a cat. My cat's over here, I'm in upstate New York. This is uh, me in the past, as if I could time travel and make myself have known what to do about quarantine in my youth. <laughs> and this is also uh, images of me with what I'm calling Zoom face because my eyes and my nose and my mouth have all been subsumed by a lens, a giant lens into which I have to peer throughout the day. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> uh -oh. Hi. Hi there. Hi, I'm uh, Michelle and I'm outside Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this might be how I wanna be. <laughs> Cause I liked your eyes and the the mouth and the nose ring, which I don't have, but I do have earrings. That's great. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, I'm your friend is not Hi, uh, this is Neil um, from Miami, and this is my drawing of me. I really like uh, the idea of drawing glasses without the like the arms that go behind your your ear. Yeah, I, but I, I never do. If you could hold that up, I oh. think um, you still have it because I do this all the time. You'll see it when I'm about to read. So that even if you, they did have the, the um, what's what's it called that part? The arm? I don't, I don't arm. know why I called them arms, but. Yeah, that makes sense. But it would go directly where it's supposed to be. You just don't right have on. that yeah. arm. Yeah. yeah. So you don't need it because people will imagine it. Hey there. Hi. So I'm Elva, I'm from Boston, and I drew myself. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I love it. And you have fun drawing hair? Yeah. Yeah. I, that's I normally wear my hair like that, but I've been wearing a hat since it's so. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to show off as much. <laughs> Hi there. We can't hear you yet. Sylvania. Oh, there you go. Say that again. Um, I'm Carrie and I live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your drawing. Oh, thank you. I, I've struggled with the hair. I was trying to do pandemic hair. Oh, I love it. It kind of looks like Farrah Fawcett hair. Yes, that's what I was going for. And then I tried another version of the hair down there, but. Oh, great. Good, yeah, I was hoping people would do like a bunch of just like yeah. Thanks. Hey! Oh, you made it! <laughs> Larry, Larry, you stop your okay. Say where your name is and where you're from. Um, my name is Larry. I changed my name, Bingy. Say where you're from. Where? I'm from Toronto. Oh, I'm gonna show you. Turn it around. Mommy, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> nice to meet you, Larry. Let's see this drawing. Oh, wow, look at that. This is beautiful. Do you think it looks like you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Did you have fun? Oh, I think I have two mouths. Um, no, it looks like you have an open mouth. 
Hey there. Yeah. Oh. Hello. I'm Shan and I oh. I'm Shan. I live in Las Vegas. Shan. Um uh, this is mine. Uh, I usually like um, the I, I love I love having long hair. So, but I thought I would just draw myself as I am. I never go out with a bun, but around the house, I just you know like I don't I don't wash my hair. I don't want to brush it and stuff. So I I keep it in. Well, right now it's not really in a bun. Kind of. They're like hanging down. A loose but, pun. <laughs> uh, but um, so with the eyes, I started actually looking at myself and it was kind of dark. My, there was a big glare on my glasses. So I started with the glasses. I didn't know you were gonna do the eyes and then the glasses, but I just thought, well, it's the glare. I'll just put glasses. And then you did the eyes. And so I thought, well, okay, <laughs> I'll put eyes too. And I kind of took like those small ones that had this. And I I just, I wanted to do big ones because my glasses were big. Uh, it looks great. Hello, hi, I'm KT, I'm from Chicago. Also, hi, Neil. Um, I drew myself with my sick quarantine hair. It's driving me up a tree. I'm growing out a shaved head. And my hairstylist is inaccessible right now, so I'm feeling all the feels about my hair. And that is me trying to draw my husband's badass mustache. Awesome. That's where I originally drew my mouths on my comics, but I'm kind of I'm really into like the sexy Squidward mouth down here. Um, so I think I'm gonna move forward with that. Um, but yeah, I just feel incredibly sweaty and overgrown, and that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. I've been locked inside with my husband for months, um, so there's lots of hearts in my eyes. Um, but otherwise, that's my quarantine face. Thank you for letting me be here and share. Yeah, thank you for coming. I see some hands up. I'm not in control of this. <laughs> no. No. I was told we have a little lag. But I, I'm stoked that you like, for me, like sometimes like figuring out just a new mouth to draw is like can change your whole comic or drawing style. So it's cool that you got to do that. Oh, there we go. Hi there. Hi, uh, I'm Jess. I'm in Las Vegas. Um, and I'm also growing my hair out. You can kind of see where it's kind of been going on. So I feel your pain, Katie. Um, I went for a, also more of a, <laughs> Just a me realistic kind of kind of mood. That looks great. Also with the tongue out. Yeah, I know. It's I guess a trend now. I guess we're all in a, a crazy quarantine mood. So thanks again for the workshop. Um, it's been a great time. Oh great. Thank you so much for sharing. You guys hear me? Yep. Um, I'm Nick from Austin. Uh, and this is me. Oh wow. We got hey, color. What happened was I had these three, you mentioned the different like thickness of the pen. So I used like the Sharpie and this um, Pentel, I think it is to basically do like a more composed version. But my emotional state this week has totally been that like I've hit a brick wall and I feel like I'm becoming more frazzled. So I made just the edges have like more, like the hairs kind of out, there's bags under my eyes, and I have these like things floating around me to kind of illustrate that there's like chaos kind of building. Yeah. And a lot of manga, they do that where the backgrounds have the the character's energy. So I do a lot of that too, where I like exclamation points and sweat marks and all that stuff. And that's part of the fun of showing too. Okay. Okay, so I, it's back to me. So thank you so much for everyone for sharing. That was so great. Um, I guess I am supposed to move to the reading. So um, um, this book, hold it up again. I know you're a writer. I'm just going to do a quick reading from it. Um, and like I said, I think they have, if you want to buy from the bookshop, you know, you'll be supporting me and you'll be supporting the believer. So that's a really lovely thing to do. This book is a memoir. Um, 
has to do with a lot of um, issues around reproductive rights and decisions made um, either way about that. And so I picked um, two excerpts, one from the beginning and one from the end to read, and I'll set them up for you. So I'm gonna set up this slideshow. So bear with me for one moment. And Okay, so that looks to be, someone give me a thumbs up if you can see it on the whole screen. Okay, great, thank you. Um, so the sequence I'm about to read is a, um, my character went, someone, how do you do that? Someone, someone's drawing on the screen. Um, maybe don't do that because it's gonna make me lose my, uh, my place. Um, so my character is uh, on tour for a book release. And that's how the book starts off. And she is in Portland, Oregon. And she has just done uh, a reading and uh, met a fellow that she begins kind of a romantic relationship with. And so she wakes up the next day and she has plans to um, spend the day at the Japanese gardens. If you've ever been to Portland, or plan to go to Portland when we can just travel again, please go to the Japanese gardens, they're beautiful. So I don't do voices, I'm gonna do my best here anyways. So this is her meeting um, a fellow author at a cafe so they can go to the Japanese gardens. She says, hey, and a lot of these are silent. I love using um, silent panels. Um, I don't know why, there's something nice about them, nice and theatrical. So this is them going through the garden. You can see I use the glasses here on a fellow and I don't even put noses in my comics. <laughs> I just go bare minimum. So they say this. This park is gorgeous. It is. Do you like traveling to these things? The festivals, I mean? I do, but I miss my family. You're not married, right? No kids? So you're like, sign me up and send me wherever. Exactly, can I treat you? So I have a lot of fun doing these panels where it's just greenery. And even if you're at your drawing table, you can feel transported, which is the magic of drawing comics in my opinion. This beautiful waterfall. So this is, um, this is why I set up the romantic element. This is the texting with the that element. So beep, beep. Oh, it's him. Here's a shot from the train I thought you'd like. So he's a musician. He was, she's on tour, he's on tour. Uh, so he had to leave the, the next day. So he's sharing his train shot. And I said, here's a shot from the Japanese gardens. And he goes, I like this, especially in Japan. Well, la di da. And so some more scenes of this beautiful garden. Man, going outside is awesome. I am so happy. So that's the beginning sequence. And then I'm going to move to the end of the book where a lot has happened and it kind of ties together with those sequences and outside and love of nature, which is a big theme in the book. So here she is, in the good old days where you can go get coffee without a face mask. Saying hi to people she knows in the neighborhood in Brooklyn and going to beautiful Greenwood Cemetery, which was just in the New York Times the other day as one of the best places to social distance here. So now it is no longer mine. Thanks a lot, New York Times. So she is entering. I go so much that the guards know me. <laughs> I'm not even goth. Some beautiful old sculptures. This the cemetery was built in uh, 1838, or most of it was started in 1938. The beautiful waterfalls and things like that. 
nice turtle pond. Hello, my dudes. I just got to check up on them. And there's an egret, beautiful egret. And she's just thinking about her past year. Today, I'm thinking about modified realities, alternate dimensions, other paths. Here I am with a different ideology. Here I am with the in the suburbs with my kids. Here I am starting my own small business. It's a curiosity mostly. When I do re get anything resembling a pang of regret, I'm thinking about music. So here she goes to meet her friend at this bar. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What'd you do today? Ah, I bopped around Greenwood Cemetery. Oh, that's nice. It is. People think it's so weird that I go there, but it's the best place. First of all, it's a historic landmark and has all these beautiful statues. Sorry, I can't read this based on a, ah, here we go. All these beautiful statues and wildlife. And last week I finally saw a hawk. I keep trying to find Basquiat's grave, but I always get lost. He's buried there. I don't know. I did find the Steinway mausoleum though. Any recitals coming up? No, not right now. Um, but there's a couple shows in December. What about you? Are you playing? Oh, just tinking around at home. So much work to put a new project together. Well, when you do decide to, you'll have plenty of people who will want to help you out. Oh, I hope I'm in town uh, for your shows in November. May I have a Pinot, please? Thank you. Why, what you got going on? And my boyfriend's doing a European tour then, so I thought I'd just hop over at the end and hang out for a bit. I'll have another too. If he ever goes to Japan, I'm totally tagging along. I'd like to see the real Japanese garden. Wait, is this the same musician guy from last year? Mm-hmm. I thought he didn't want a relationship. He didn't. But he's a human being and he did what we do best. We contradict our shells and we change our minds. So I guess things worked out. Yeah, for now, we will see. Okay, so that's it. I want to thank you guys for um, joining me today. And like I said, there's a link if you want to grab a book and support me and the um, reader. And like I said, I don't have anything to do tonight. I have a margarita. So post your images and uh, ask me any questions you want. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Sign off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your tag? Oh, must be AM time. Your work is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. He is sleeping on his bed under the chair. Yeah, so if you want to find me on Instagram, it's um. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, I just said thank you. Well, thanks. I'm so I'm so intrigued. Where's your Where's your Where's your kitty friend? Thank you. Your cat. Hi guys. Happy Hi. Day. Hopefully, great presentation. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your book's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Why? What was I doing the other day? I guess I was on some kind of a call, or as maybe i don't know but it was just like rolling thunder it was just like non-stop thundering mm. did you hear it i need to leave this meeting and stop talking make a stop see how sad she is <laughs> bless you <laughs> I don't know, people are signing off, I think. Ooh.
Ricardo or Bella. What does that say? What is it? What does that say? I can't see. Oh, reactions. Oh, it's thundering now.
Okay, so, for not kitchen eggs. 